So today I'm doing a video on uh, traveling with your guinea pig, and sorry if there's any background noise, I'm in my backyard, and then that right there is my sister's puppy, and then Roxy's out here somewhere, I don't know where, but they might be playing, so they might be a little loud, and I'm filming this on my phone, so, I mean, I can stop it and start it without any hassle, but I don't know how that will go, so I'll just jump right into it. Um, when you're traveling with your guinea pig, if it's um, a tr short trip, so anywhere from, you know, 10 to 20 minutes, maybe even 30, all you really need is something on the bottom of your carrier. Now, I'll talk about carriers at the end, but basically, you just need something to put on the bottom. Sorry for the glares of the sun. I just use a piece of really soft cotton with little cupcakes, and as you can see, Gumball doesn't seem to have any problem sitting on here. Um, for a 15 to 30 minute trip, I have this Vitacraft tree stick, but this is mostly just because I put her in here when I clean her cage, so just kind of keep her occupied, but honestly you don't need something like this. You can just put them in there, they're good, but I like to just keep this in here because I don't like keeping it in her cage. So if your trip is going to be 30 minutes to maybe an hour, a little over an hour would be fine. You might want to add just a tiny bit of hay. I'm not going to put this in there because I just washed the cotton, but basically it's just to keep them occupied and give them something to eat. But honestly, again, you do not need this. I mean, some people say they shouldn't go out without hay for a while, like an hour, but like us going without food for an hour we're gonna be fine so yeah um if you're going from for a trip that's going to be driving for about two hours or so then i would recommend that you have to put hay in there just because they need something to do they can hide in the hay if they want to and um basically it entertains them now if you're going during the night i would recommend putting a bed in and so I just have this cuddle sack and this would be for two to three hour trips so especially if you're going in the night because they can sleep in it but also in the day it's nice to have just because they can hide and be cozy in case the car is kind of cold in the winter I would recommend one of these in the summer you can use a cuddle cup but she doesn't seem to like cuddle cups um, if your trip is going to be two to three hours, also I forgot, you need to put their water bottle on the side of the cage and food. You don't, um, if you feed your guinea pigs once a day, like in the morning or in the night, then just still go on that schedule. But if they free feed, then maybe put in, like, this much food, just so they won't get hungry. And if they eat all of that, you can always give them more, but... Yeah, that's just a good thing to have. And then, if your trip is going to be really long, and I'm talking like, I don't know, four to five hours, then you do need to put um, a thick fleece, first of all, a bed, food and water, and I would recommend getting a large carrier or using a pet store cage as your carrier, just because... Um, it's a lot better for the guinea pigs. Now, if you if you have a small car and all the seats are going to be taken up, then obviously you can't put a pet store cage in there. But if you have a big car with one of those trunks that like is open to the back seat so you can watch your guinea pigs, put the pet store cage in the trunk of that car and then just check on them every 10 minutes or so. Just look back there. But if it's an overnight drive, the guinea pigs should be fine with a pet store cage and their basic necessities. So I believe that is all. If I missed anything on um, guinea pig traveling that you know, or if you have any questions, then please just ask in the comments. And other than that, just please subscribe, comment, and rate, and request some videos for guinea pig, hamster, rabbit, or dog care.